Hi guys, welcome back to The Loft. Hi guys. How are you? Um, so today, we thought we'd do something a little bit different, which is just talk about um, slightly cheapy fragrances that we like. Um, these are not the sort of crazy expensive things that no. we've sometimes brought to you. I they? think we're, just, we're slightly aware that we talk about a lot of fragrances which cost, I don't know, say £200 yeah. a bottle and people think that's kind of interesting but I'm, I'm never going to spend £200 a bottle so there's no point in me looking at this. Yeah. So are there good fragrances um, you can get for less? And so we've chosen oh, our kind oh. of top 10 cheapies. There are, you know, there are definitely more we could have put in this list but this is kind of a, yeah. a top 10 and it is sort of, I think we've left the best to last. Yeah. Even though there's not much of an order in between but we've definitely got the, the, the best last. Um, and all of these fragrances I wear, you, I, I, I happily we wear both them. Wear, don't we? yeah. I wear them alongside you know, Maison Francisco de Jeanne or Andy Tower fragrances. Yeah. I think they, they stand up against them really, really well. And they all have a personality of their own. Which Absolutely. I think is the, the key thing with the fragrance is it has a personality. This, fir this, def this first one definitely does. I think it you really should, does. You should, okay. <laughs> well, I've been known around the world for my. Can you see that? My sex appeal. Uh -uh. Um, <laughs> so this is by Jovan, which of course are famous for their fragrance called Musk. Um, this is something a little bit different. It's just a very spicy, rugged masculine sort of a fragrance as the bottle. I mean it's an incredibly cheap bottle isn't it? It's such a cheap bottle and spray. I mean it's cheap plasticky, <laughs> the atomizer looks like it might fall off but it's very nice, but it's, I, I it's just very elegant, very spicy. And you get, you get this kind of well-rounded spicy, I get quite a lot of clove. Yeah, carnation? And, and, yeah and there's kind of that hint of that slightly old school kind of yeah floral kind of yeah. late 80s early 90s uh, floral fill. I mean, it's not a million miles away from something like Bois de Portugal. You know, I mean, it's a yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, different but, school. But, but this, this is quite a bit spicier. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. it's quite rounded. And this is something I can definitely imagine wearing in, in wintertime or Absolutely. Or it's perfect, a lovely patchouli sandalwood base. Yeah, there's a lot of patchouli. There's a real kind of dryness to it. I mean, uh, this fragrance, if it was in another bottle, if it was in a Tom Ford bottle, you really would, I think you'd speak really highly. Yeah, yeah. I've got this, I, I, I sprayed this on the wrist just before. And it's really classy, I'm getting quite a lot of that patchouli now, just yeah, that kind lovely. of like dry... And with uh, the freshness uh, as well, isn't yeah. it? it uh, there's a sort of orange aid where you were saying you get a sort of fizzy... Yeah, there was almost the first spray, there's a hint of like ginger beer yeah. definitely, yeah, fizzy pop. But I mean, that, that's nice. just, the, just the packaging is, is so, so hilarious, it's borderline rapey. Should we read what it says on the front here? I mean, it says sex appeal, funny. now you don't have to be born with it. Like me. This provocative, yeah. stimulating blend of rare spices and herbs was created by man for the sole purpose of attracting women at will. Man <laughs> can never have enough. I mean, it's just... You know, it's just rapey, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's terrible, really. It's, I mean, it's hilarious. But, I mean, by all means, ladies, try this as well, because it's got some punch, hasn't it? It's got some personality. Yeah, completely unisex, I'd say. I think you'd enjoy it. So this, you can buy this brand new um, on 11, for £11. Yeah. Pounds. And even cheaper on eBay. I got this bottle for seven pounds on yeah. eBay. All, all of these fragrances. So shop around. If, yeah. if you shop around, you can get the cheaper. We're going to tell you the kind of the highest. The price, highest price on re full which you, retail. You can definitely. Yeah. So you can definitely buy this for eleven pounds. Which is great, great. fragrance. Uh, right. Um, so that's eleven pounds for eighty-eight mil, which is a weird size. We're it's now enough, moving on to one which is twelve pounds for a hundred oh, mil, uh, and this is Ragba Classic from the house of Latafa. So I've got a couple of um, fragrances from Latafa, also Pure Udi, which is this big oh, round yeah, lovely uh, Woody Udi, which is also the got cinnamon bits, stick in it. It's got cinnamon one? stick floating yeah. in the bottle. Um, and I haven't got the box with me, but you get this huge, chunky, really heavy bottle with this big metal stopper. It, yeah. And this is just a huge, have we got any more cards? We have. A huge balsamic resinous. Oh, it's just, if you think of, um, Arab perfume, and you, maybe if you think of the House of Amwars, you think of those big, rich, opulent spices. Yeah. This is right up that kind of street. The sort of treasure trove from the Middle East. I mean, there's, there's also vanilla in there, but you've got kind of myrrh Ooh, yeah. and frankincense, and there's benzo in as well. There's a kind of creaminess to it. Yeah, it's, I mean, immediately that's very round. You know, yeah, I, I just get a comforting sort of duvet it's not, feeling. It's, with not, that. it's definitely not edgy, it's definitely not synthetic, it's definitely not messy. Oh. It feels very. It's integrated, isn't it? Very, very rounded. It smells very sexy. It's, I mean, it smells quite expensive. I, I really think if this was, you know, for a, if, again, if it was in a Tom Ford bottle or an Amorage bottle. I wouldn't blink. You, you, you wouldn't blink. Yeah. There's also a slight dirtiness of the oud, isn't it? Just a little, yeah. little dirtiness. It's a hint. I mean, it's yeah. just, an, it's enough to kind of pique your interest. Mm. But I mean, the main thing I get there is a wonderful, comforting, resinous. Yeah, it's really thing. warm, very, very good. rich. And, very and, good. And the, the, 
performance on this. I mean, I'm not going to spray it today because it's, it's a hot day. You know, some people like big resinous scents on a hot day, but it's you can kind of tell from the colour of, of the juice that you've got this big dark, dark fragrance, yeah. and it's it projects really, really, really well, and it lasts for ages. That's going to be a shower the next morning, yeah. sort of. Yeah, I mean, you definitely you'll still get it after 12 hours. You still really notice it after yeah. 24 hours. You'll still get hints of it. I mean, great. I mean, for 12 pounds, it's like, incredible. Why are people not making this yeah. um, at the kind of crazy sort of 70, 80, 90 pounds that you're getting for designing yeah. this stuff? It's great. Why are um, they not doing that? That's fantastic. Right. So we're now going to move on to a, a slightly <laughs> better known uh, fragrance. Fra yeah. Fra it's from uh, the it's house of um, Lalique, and Lalique uh, were originally they made glass. Didn't they? Yeah, they made bottles. And things. I mean, they're very wonderful designs, actually. And, and you so should look this, them up, this is a bottle which is based on a, an, an inkwell. It is on Um Very beautiful. Bottle. Really, this really kind of almost kind of quite iconic uh, black bottle. It's like a paperweight, um, almost, isn't it? So this is you. you unlike um, the previous fragrance, there is a, a synthetic quality yeah. to this. In that yeah. there is a lot of ice away super and a lot, a lot of cashmere in this. This is a woody, really, really dark. Um, um, vetiver. It does smell yeah. great, and it's if um, if you're familiar with Chanel Sycamore, this is a similar kind of it's feel. The baby brother of yeah, Sycamore, the isn't baby it? but it, but it's really it's really kind of as you get into kind of mid autumn and the weather's starting to turn and it's getting a bit colder, oh. and you just want something a bit moody and dark. This is a really really great. This is choice. wonderful actually because I, as well as the ice Re super giving it a lot of throw, yeah, and a lot of sort of. Uh, a woody effect. Yeah. I'm getting the grassy, smoky vetiver, but I'm also getting a booziness as well. Yeah. There's there's the sort of bourbon vetiver. Yeah. And it it, it, give, it just gives it a little. It's going to try and remind. So a little hint of something, isn't it? I'm trying to remember the, the name of the um, perfumer. Anyway, we'll, we'll write it on the screen. But a really great perfumer who's done lots, and we've actually got another. There's another uh, one fragrance by them, yeah. as well. Um, it's so gothic, isn't it? This stuff? It's really dark and, and wow. moody and austere, whilst having a kind of dark Ooh. beauty to it as well. So this is, a, I mean, it's a bit more expensive. <laughs> it's really we like, say a bit more it's twenty six ninety five. If you buy it on All Beauty, if you look on eBay, you can yeah. definitely get it uh, uh, for cheaper. But you can easily buy this brand new for twenty six ninety five. Yeah, I a mean, it's great, a dark, autumnal, moody, still. which doesn't smell like your everyday fragrance. Be you know, there's nothing like that on the market really, yeah. apart from the sort of big hitters like because it's, Sycamore. It's, it's big and it's bold and it's yeah. brave and really original and it's a really, a really, fantastic. Lovely, really lovely Absolutely bottle. fantastic. Um, so another next fragrance is uh, a new discovery to, Aaron. To, yeah, to, to us, so it's the house of um, Aaron, which we Quite mentioned a couple of, uh, of, of videos ago. Um, uh, videos ago. So, uh, the Isle of Arran is an island off of the west coast of Scotland, and all their fragrances seem to be really inspired by uh, places on the island. So this is called Macri, um, which is a bay. It's another mm. on, bay on the Isle of Arran. And this fragrance, um, the kind of subtitle to it, is Salt and Rock Rose, which I thought sounded really um, strange. Yeah. The salt salt ro uh, rock rose, as we know, is also known as Lampton. labdanum and yeah. cistus. It's this kind of um, resinous, kind of amber quality. I always mm -hmm. think of amber salt when I when I think oh, of yeah. rock rose. So I thought, how sea salt and, and labdanum? That how sounds really work? really how weird. Um, but the so the opening is um, citrus with a bit of clary sage and a bit of salt. So it's quite a bright, uh, quite a bright, uh, clean opening, yeah. r r refreshing. Um, it's quite the, creamy as well. Yeah, the opening didn't blow me away. I did think it was very natural. It didn't smell yeah. synthetic. It didn't smell like a cheap designer scent. Um, but it's actually as it developed, it got far more interesting. There's a, there's a sweetness, a woodiness, which, yeah. and, the, and, the, and the saltiness really kind of balances that nicely. And um, the other thing which is listed is um, gorse flower. That's the quite oh, well known yeah. uh, fragrance, gorse by Laboratory Perfumes, which yeah. has got coconut and rum. And I don't get that at all. They're not this. the same thing at all. But either. I do get this. In the mid, this really interesting floral aspect, and I was talking to you before, and in about half an hour, I really get the impression of if you m imagine it in a kind of uh, sc a Scottish um, beach or, or near, near, near the seaside, imagine just some wild flowers grow yeah. growing there. And there's, you've got the kind of the sea uh, in the kind of the, the salt in the sea air is blowing across, all of these things oh, mingling yeah. together with a, with, a, with a bit of kind of as if there's some driftwood. 
you know, yeah. just the smoke coming off some driftwood. I, I think it's a really, really there's good There's a wonderful set. minerality to it, isn't yes, there? It, yeah. it feels very much of the earth. It, yeah, yeah. There's nothing... It smells natural. There's no sort of artificial, freshy yeah. shampoo. I mean, my, I guess my, my only slight problem with this is I found that the, the longevity was okay, but it became quite a, a kind of a skin scent after about two hours. But it's mm. the kind of thing I think you would wear on a hot day, and in which case yeah. you, you don't want a big yeah. bowl of fragrance. But anyway, it's, it's 30 quid it's for 100 stuff. Well. It's good stuff. And it's really... Yeah. It smells very, very natural. It's really, really beautiful. And like you said, the dry down really goes in a special direction. Yeah, really. It becomes qu quite sexy, even though it's a kind of fresh. Yeah. It's really interesting. Oh, right. good choice. I'll be getting a bottle of that as well. Something completely different. Do you want to introduce... Let's go for it. Tabak. <laughs> Look at that. So I think, is this the cheapest... This, well, I bought this for £7. Yeah, you, you can get it from Boots. Yeah. Which you can get it all over the place. But I, I would say, it, look online, to, because this is the Eau de Cologne, which is slightly better for my money than the Eau de Toilette. Um, the Eau de Toilette takes on a slightly, slightly sharp edge, whereas this thing is elegant and round. Um, look at that bottle. <laughs> okay. so, no money wasted. No money bottle, wasted unnecessarily at all. <laughs> um, literally not a drop. But this thing was created in 1959 and it's still going strong today. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, it's beautiful. It's, it's a sort of floral carnation, sandalwoody, um, but if you, it's, it, barbershop when, aspect, yeah. you know, that I love. It's so easy to dismiss this when you see it on the, you know, on the, on the booth oh, shelf next to... The whole range they have, you know, the shaving soap, mm. the odorants. Yeah, but it yeah. really, there is a reason why, you know, people are, are still um, using it, wearing yeah. it, buying it all these years later. They know well. It's a cool oh, The opening's really nice, actually. It's really um, kind of fougere-y. Like, it's like, instantly fougere, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Um, Which is a fern, a fern-based fragrance. Kind of fragrance, traditional kind of men's kind of fragrance. You associate. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I, I, but there's already a, a, a kind of shaving friend creaminess to it. Yeah, a bit of lavender. If you could bottle what Gillette make as their as their oh, shaving cream. Good. Again, if this was, if this was released this year, okay, by you know, and it had a Frederick Mal sticker on or something, you, you really yeah. wouldn't think. God, that's really good. It's so it's, good, isn't it? It's lovely, and the f you know the florals give it a bit of interest, I mean, so it it, keep, it sort of keeps its sense of energy. The of that bottle, I mean, it really. <laughs> it looks like a sun cream bottle, doesn't yeah. it? Or, or something and you get like it for that. like seven pounds. And get the, you get the whole range. You get a deodorant, you get a shaving soap, and you you'll go out of the house smelling wonderful. Yeah. I th I'm pretty sure Clint Eastwood must have worn something like yes. this. Yes. And class. it's from the family of Old Spice and that kind of thing. You know, you may smell this and be reminded of your dad once upon a time, yeah. which is always a nice thing. It's class. So I'd yeah, I'd happily give that my vote. Um, do, that, do they do any other fragrances, I wonder? I don't know. Is it I, just tobacco? I need to look into that. Because I remember being in France once and seeing a green bottle. So I don't know whether they have like tobacco forest or something possibly. like that. Have a look. Anyway, it's wonderful. So, so should we move on to what something um, uh, slightly, a little, <laughs> it's slightly more expensive. It's, you know, it's 35 pounds. Rip off. Uh, Terrible. Uh, <laughs> for 100 mil. So this is Oud Kadim, if you can see the bottle, from... What's it called? Janai... Janai Jamshed. Janai Jamshed. Yeah. Um, and so this is another Arabic uh, fragrance. Um, and so we've got that real classic Arabic combination yeah. of, of rose oud. And when I sprayed Tried this earlier, th what it reminds me of a little a bit... Um, it's not quite as good quality, you know, it's not as good quality as, but it reminds me of some of the Maison Francis yeah. Pudijan uh, oud silk mood Absolutely. and oud satin mood, the, the, the rose note they use. I'm not going to pretend it's, it's as good as one of those, but... It is very, very good. It's good, isn't it? Uh, and also, the performance on this is absolutely oh, nuclear. It's it keeps enormous. Going and going and going. Remember when you sprayed it before? You just it completely. You know, there's a huge kind of like um, fragrance trail to mm. it. It's yeah. Do you know the the closest thing this actually brings me to mind with is a fragrance called Rose Arabi by, by from Armani, the Armani Prevo line. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it, got that wonderful balsamic aspect. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Which I really, I've, in fact, such a depth to it. The, I, I must point out so the person that got me onto this was a reviewer called Greggy Boy. Yeah. And um, you know, he he said this is a, a what was it, a hype train or something. He was starting trying to yeah. start the hype train. And I thought, well, I'm going to try that when I'm when I'm in Manchester. Found the shop, picked up a bottle, and I got that for twenty quid at the time. And I wasn't disappointed at all. The minute I sprayed it, I thought this yeah. has again, it has personality. But even you know, straight even out of the bottle, thirty-five pounds. I mean, it's that, so worth. That will it. last you so yeah. long. And the bottle, I mean, it's beautiful wooden bottle. I can't really, mm. you can't hear that, but you know, it's a good quality bottle. Yeah. Cap stays on nicely. If you like to hold it from the cap, I wouldn't <laughs> never recommend it. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> but they also have lots and lots of other fragrances yeah. there, and I mean, I, I would check them out. I've got another one called Leather mm. Oud, I think, or or something like that. I can't remember what it yeah. is. 
Right, but so it's really stunning. On. So, oh, this is very I've just looked up the, the, the uh, perfume of Encre Noir is Nathalie Lawson. Uh, ah. And so, this is another um, absolute uh, masterpiece uh, by her. So, this is for a, a car perfume brand, <laughs> Bentley. So this is Incredible. Bentley for men intense. And you can see by how much is left there, how much I've used it. Um, You've enjoyed it, haven't you? Oh, there's just a really beautiful, boozy, kind of yeah, almost kind of nutty quality. So this reminds uh, me a bit of, of Champagne Noir, which is a mm. fragrance by Old Factory Studios, which is a very kind of boozy, leathery fragrance, right. which is which is much more expensive. This, is that the sort of plum aspect? Yes, yes. So it's a, there's a kind of boozy, kind of like stewed fruit. Um, this is available. Oh God! That's as you, very, as, as you spray thunder. that, oh, it's really very beautiful. I really get plums. Like really, <laughs> yeah. okay. we said plums. I just can't, you know, start thinking of plums. Instantly, um, instantly wonderful sort of booze soap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark, rich plums. Yeah, oh, that's it's, good. It's, it's really, really. But early. crucial question, Dan, before we before we continue, <sighs> is this fragrance actually cheaper than a Bentley? Yes. So you should get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's it? What's but you can be. Uh, I'm, uh, it seems ridiculous that it's a That's car such, brand, but it such does make you think of, of elegant leather cars. Absolutely, yeah. An expensive car. I mean, I think they've really, they've really sort of nailed the brief there, haven't they? Because this really smells like a niche fragrance. Yeah. It really does not smell like a designer or even a car, you know, company fragrance. It really smells like a 150 pound fragrance. And when you think what a lot of other cars, sort of, as we'd call them, car perfumes like are doing. Opening up now, it's just, it's so oh, it's intoxicating. Got to remember to wear this more. And and very vibrant as well. It's it's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not it's not rich and cloying. It's it's rich and energetic. It's, it's, it's got so a real well made. So well made. I mean, it's, it's interesting. Even though it's the same perfumer as Encre Noir, I don't I don't get any. I mean, worlds well, apart. I, I really, don't get any kind of. Obviously, there are some synthetics, but I don't get the eye so super feel which I do with no, Encre Noir. No, no. Feels really well rounded. Really beautiful. <clears throat> now, and I think I need to buy a bottle this afternoon. Another fragrance, which is incredibly. Cheap. Let's get this one out. I mean. How much did you pay? I'm going to see if you can get this on the camera there. Is it focusing? Yeah, just so that, that was three ninety nine when I bought it. <laughs> it's Eau de Mission, and it's it's basically something I picked up in TK Maxx once upon a time. And it's a beautiful, boozy vanilla. I mean, look at the colour of that again. It's dark, it's earthy. I think the colour gives you such a good impression you of that get, kind you of, get of sense, richness though. and yeah. that kind of... <coughs> oh, we should spray that. I mean, it's 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 proper vanilla with its sweet aspect yeah. and also its slightly bitter aspect, which you often know again in vanillas. They can be cloyingly sweet. But but it's interesting when we, when we, when we, uh, uh, we went to a, uh, the, the perfume exhibition where there's some guys from Givaudan who mm. had loads and loads of uh, raw ingredients, which we smelt lots of them. And if you just smell vanillin, this kind of smells like almost just like vanillin. It yeah. smells like vanilla and booze. It's such a, it's such a simple scent. I mean, there's also a hint of kind of clove to it. Yeah. And there's also a, the other, the other thing is there's a bit of benzoin, especially in the dry yeah, down, absolutely. which gives you this uh, resinous kind of warmth and kind of depth to it. Bit of smoke there? Are you going to? Yeah, have? just a little a hint of it's incense. It's a tiny little yeah. bit, isn't it? And it's and I think it's a real Christmassy fragrance. Oh, just yeah. imagine by kind of a smouldering fire it's wrapped up, really cozy. Oh, it's I mean, that's something we, we should always mention as well. You know, scents often perform. In terms of where you are in your environment, so yeah. like a cold winter's day, yeah. wrapped up in a scarf. This is it's, absolutely it's perfect. It's so it's so comforting. It's really absolutely gorgeous stuff. Completely you, unisex. Yeah, oh, absolutely. absolutely unisex. And I mean, you can buy an enormous, enormous bottle of this. Yeah, they do. Like and just splash free. yourself with it. It's but, incredible. You know, it's just. I, I, I mean, it just costs what is it, three p per mil or something like that? Yeah. It, it's, 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 it's it's hilarious. It's so cheap. I don't really know Beautiful. why it's so cheap. It, it's often been compared to if you're interested in. In, in sort of comparisons, it's been compared to Spiritus Double Vanille by Guerlain, by Guerlain which is yeah. a, one of these two hundred pound yeah, yeah. jobbies. Yeah. Um, and I have to say, I've worn both, and I love this just as much, yeah. if not slightly more, because it has that extra bit of smoke and incense. Yeah. So it keeps it interesting, you know. Great. Right. Next Lovely. one. So, so we kind of this is saving our special. best couple um, to the end. So. Um, a few of you may have already got your hand on uh, Luca Turin and Tanya Sanchez's uh, new uh, guide to perfume, in which they they rate um, they give from one to five stars yeah. to a huge and enormous uh, selection of perfumes. Added another thousand. Yeah, they, they spent the years and years and days wow. and days going through all these fragrances, and there are just Heroes. a very very small handful of five star fragrances. Yeah. And so we, we've got one here, which is an absolute classic from the house of Atsaro. It's Atsaro Pohom. I've got one of these. 
enormous 200 mil bottle. It's the so biggest bottle I've ever seen. That's why, like, if you if you can sit next to my head, it's about the size of my face. Wow. Um, this is a kind of benchmark classic yeah. Fougere. This this actually transcends its price altogether, doesn't it? Because yeah. this this is possibly one of the greatest fragrances ever made. Class. Yeah. This really, I can really imagine. Oh, it is absolutely stunning. If this was in a Creed bottle, I wouldn't be surprised because it's got that kind of feel, that kind of mm. elegance, that well-rounded kind of quality to it. Um, the only difference is how much. So never seen how much this costs um, normal. So. It's twenty-seven ninety-five for a hundred mil bottle, but even this enormous bottle is only forty-two pounds for two hundred mil. You can get it much cheaper, but you know if you have a two hundred mil bottle, it's it's going to last you forever. Oh. So there's quite a lot of oak moss, but there's oh, also a lot of aniseed, which adds it adds kind of uh, brightness, kind of zesty energy quality, yeah. with a, just a hint of sweetness. It doesn't allow you to get too cozy, does it? it, it lavender it's as well as a good good dose of lavender in there. I mean, that's, I don't think I've smelt a better, I mean, not even at the price, but just in general, a better barbershop. Yeah, if, if you like. Classic barbershop. Yeah, but classic barbershop fragrances. I mean, Azaro, obviously wonderful, um, which is this. Yeah. Reeve Gosh. Yeah. Invasion Barbar, bar, bar, yeah, if you want to spend a lot more money, but, but I would get this first. Oh, it's so incredible. Yeah. And it doesn't smell dated at all. It, no, it's no, just so yeah. well made. Yeah. That you know, anyone puts this on, and they're, they're a winner in my it book. It smells like absolute class. Speaking of absolute so class, great. I think we've, we've saved the last one from the house. There are three or four we could have had from um, this house because oh, yeah. you can get them really quite reasonably, which is insane considering how the quality how is, good they is are. special. And I really think if another this, five stars. If, if this was, yeah, if this was two hundred pounds, you really wouldn't think it was no too, too expensive. No, absolutely. So this is from the house of Caron. And it's the Tosium Hom. So or, based or, 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 or on the, or the great, third man, the great Graham, novel. Graham Greene um, novel. This is, I guess you could, if we're comparing special. things to Creed, which gets a bit boring, but, but I mean, you, any you, of the you big could compare it houses. to. This is, there's you know, it's, there's just kind of, I'm going to have a spray of it. There's so much to this. It's kind of a, a musky, citrusy, woody, mm. oak mossy. You can't really, you almost can't quite describe it. It's, it's, it's sort of handsome, is the, uh, I think a word that Tanya Sanchez uses just yeah, to describe it's, it. It's, it's, it's handsome, so but handsome. it's luxurious and it smells expensive. Oh, yeah. It smells like a, a, you know, a man wearing a tailored suit. Yeah. It's not an off the page suit. It's, it's absolute class. There, there's a, there is a, a lovely, them. beautiful, musky kind of behind. like warmth to it as well. A real kind of depth and roundness. Yeah. And that, for me, I mean, it's like dusty quality at the beginning bit of, as well. Bit of, something interesting. Bit of aniseed as well. And yeah. A kind of friendly quality. The opening's really, really beautiful. But for me, it's the, it's the dry down yeah. where you just feel. It just feels so lovely. It's, it's beautiful. There's really, no really, really elegant. It, really. Um, but yeah. I mean, as a house. Yeah. I mean, we could they're, have had, we could so definitely have had, I mean, Yatagan oh, or, yeah. or Porum, which is just kind of an out, out and out lavender. But you, for me, this is the this is the real. This is their pinnacle, I think. You could, I think, you could happily spend a year just wearing the four great fragrances from this house in in the sort of yeah. traditional. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yet again, yet again, great for the winter. Usually, yeah. great for the real hot summer's day. This for basically all the way through the year. But especially if you're going out, either if you're going out wearing a suit or a mm. black tie, or you're on a date and you just want to feel quite sexy and confident. It's, <sighs> and it's so different. There's, yeah. there's nothing like this. I think even in the sort of older. The sort of yeah. older perfumes. The only thing I can compare this to is something that would have probably, before reformulations, would have been wonderful. Is something like Chanel Pour Monsieur. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Mean, yeah, yeah, that kind of feel. But I think this is more, what there's it more is. to this. There's more to this, though. And Bois de Portugal again. I bring yeah. up that comparison. This is the the wonderful. Of, New York the by Patricia de Nicola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I think this still beats it. Yeah. Anyway, so, so, beautiful. so having spoken lots of videos where we've spoken about really expensive fragrances, we've given you 10 cheapies. And we've got so a real, real range for some kind of uh, freshies uh, to some real heavy hitter kind of wintry things. Um, so you could have, this could be your entire collection. You've got something for lots of moods, yeah. lots, lots of yeah. occasions. You've got formal, informal, sexy. Um, it's perfect mix, things. isn't it? Really? All of these 10 fragrances come to £215 if you pay the most expensive price for them. If you look around and if you got them on eBay or if you really want to buy yeah, some second hand bottles, you could definitely get them a lot less. So 215 for 10 100 ml bottles. Incredible. Or you could spend 250 pounds on Aventus. It's a no brainer. On one bottle really. of Aventus. Possibly the, the Smoky Birch one, possibly the Apple one, who knows what you're gonna get. 
Anyway, it's up to you guys, but you know, as I say, these are all, even though we've got much more expensive fragrances, these are all fragrances we wear we all, love, yeah. all the time and we'll never be without. And ultimately, I think the thing, the thing we've both learned over the years, that having experimented a lot, is that the only thing that ultimately guides you is your nose. If it smells nice. If you like the smell. And you know, it's very yeah. easy to get caught up in all the hype and things. Sometimes it's nice to have, you know, fancy packaging, but yeah. you, you can get caught up with hype of these expensive fragrances. And it's important to remember that you can make a, an incredible fragrance without, yeah. you know, without having to charge an absolute fortune for it. And remember, some of the smells we like the best are free. You know, the smell of the smell of hot tar or something yeah. like that, or the smell of a tree in spring. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's free, cut so grass, petrol. Yeah, there's no all reason all these, why perfume yeah, yeah. has to be crazy yeah. expensive for you to enjoy it. Anyway, I mean, really, really check these, these, yeah. these out. You've got that's absolutely so no excuse. They're, so, they're all widely available yeah. online. You should have no problems. So check them out. And also, lots, lots of these, you know, if you're if we're talking about 11, 15 pounds, I mean, I'm happy to recommend a blind buy to just go yeah, ahead, go ahead yeah. and try them. And, you know, you'd regret really very few of these, I think. Yeah. You know. But anyway, go and find them, try them, love them. Tell us what you think about them. And make sure you spend the rest on chips on the way home. Yeah. What do they say? You've got um, you've got your bus fare home as well. Well, there's some old saying, isn't Leave there? Leave your bus fare, yeah. Something yeah. like that. Well, it's good know. to end on a really solid... Um, well done quote. So, well, I like to remember yeah. them as well, as well as possible. But we're, we're, we're done for today, so go and check them out, and happy sniffing! Bye.